Yo, what's happening, guys? This is DJ Cal. No, it's actually not. It's Joe from Goats Gaming. And we have another, what is this? Fusion Locals Finals between Michael from Goats Gaming and Raz from Yeah. So, Michael, <laughs> Michael's normal summons Whiptail activates effects of Brawl after he goes into it. And Raz, Joel Lockbirds, and Ghost Ogres. He kind of mistimed it a bit. I had to tell him after, like, right there is Droll Lock, where you have to do it when it resolves. And he couldn't even if he changed Droll Lock and the Ghost because then you're missing the timing. But we already knew what it is. But Michael had the My Body to stop the Ghost Ogre. So he did stop that. So he does search his Whip Tail because he knows that Raz has Droll Lock right now. Instead of searching the Fusion Sub and doing that play. Um, but yeah, just little tiny things. So. Michael, special summons Hammer Kong, and he's just going to do the bread and butter zoo combo with O Fusion Sub, which is Hammer Kong, and a Dryden, and that's what it ends with. Um, no drawing, none of that shenanigans, which will be great after the new ban list, you already know. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck, I'm so happy the new ban list came out. Can't stand it. So, anyways, Michael has one set. Um, Raz activates Tanky. Uh, Michael, he might dry and pop it depending how good his hand is. If his hand or back row is like. Relevant, then by all means pop tanky. It's it's a stopping a plus one. Um But yeah. So Raz decides to normal Ram Ram and that's not a good sign at all. Um Hopefully he might have barrage as well. That way he can actually like play through stuff. But Michael strikes it after he goes into Brubble and let's see if Raz has barrage. Um does not. So he sets one and says go. So Michael's going to start doing a lot of zoo play plays. At this point, he's in a really good position. Um, basically, basically, like he's going to win at this point. Like there's really little Raz can do unless he has like Maxi or something. Um, so he does go into Brawl search rap here. Y'all know the standard zoo shit that we're all sick of at this point. But. Yeah, I'm playing pure zoo and I'm just I'm just not enjoying it. Like I love my metal pose. I absolutely love those bitches. But like this deck is just like ugh. you run out of resources so fast, especially if you don't have combo, it's just ugh. This format I'm so glad can just shove it up a uh, you know what. But um Yeah, so anyways, he's special summons rat. Uh I don't know if he's gonna do the Ram Ram play, um, or he if he's going to Trying to fusion sub now. Probably trying to fusion sub because he hasn't able to. He's going to summon check a 9-9. Nine nine. Um, special summon. Let's see what he special summons here. Uh, he doesn't have Ram right? so, no. So he special summons Hammer Kong. He's going to go um, Tiger Mortar. I guess he's not going to do the fusion sub play. Unless he does it now on the Tiger Mortar and the check a 9-9. Nine nine. Um, maybe he's like, oh shit, I could have done it. But we'll just have to see. Yeah, so he goes dried into an attack. So that's a little misplay by uh, um, Michael. He could have, instead of searching the rat, he could have, like, searched fusion sub and done the fusion sub play. I don't know. I think that's more um, whatever. So he does go dried and pop whip tail, and Raz has the my body. Did did Michael just not even make a dryden? Michael didn't make a dryden either. Oh, Michael. What? Maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something here. He could have had two uh, things. Uh, so now Michael, I guess, is reading, um, seeing if my body targets. Uh, I don't know. Does it? I don't know. I haven't read that card in forever. Okay, so I guess my body doesn't target. Probably just has destroy that card. Um, he goes. Raz goes. Broad will affect the surge. Michael goes Ghost Dash. Oh, by the way, Michael's a sack. He pulled Ulti Strike for his entry pack today. And he, oh, what, for what he won from his packs, because all X1s and XOs top get packs at our locals. Um, Ghost Dash. He pulled another Ghost Dash. So he literally opened all three Ghost Dashes. And what did he do? He pulled two boxes. And, <laughs> and he opened one from there. And he pulled two Ulti Strikes. And he's pulled Ulti Instant Fusion and Ulti Lightning. Like, this kid is just, like... When I say he's a sack, understand my guys, he's a sack. Um, so yeah, so he goes Bravo, effect search, negated. Now he's going to go Tiger Mortar. He tries to activate Tiger Mortar's effect, but realizes he can't with Hammer Kong. So he just makes a big-ass Dryden. Pops the Hammer Kong. 
Um, that's another thing, man. I was playing Michael, and I found out how bad Hammer Kong really stops you. It stops your Whip Tails. It stops your Zodiac Combo. It stops your Tiger Mortar, and it's just, ugh. So, Michael decides to Kaiju him, because he is playing Zodiac Kaijus, and Raz is playing pure Zodiac. Um, so he normal summons, goes over into, a uh, Degusto. <laughs> The fact that this card, Degusto, is probably the most important card in this freaking deck. Oh, you run out of resources so fast. It's so obnoxious. Like, you literally have enough in your extra deck to play two. I'm so happy after the balance. Like, you're going to be able to play three Broad Brawl, three Z Dryden's, but we were never playing that, right? We're all playing Metal Foes after the ban list. JK, I'm not. But anyways... <laughs> <coughs> so he stumbles back through. He finally realizes, oh, I can just still do the Luna Light combo. So he decides to uh, do that. And, like, at this point, it's basically unplayable for um, Raz. Like, there's nothing really he can do to win this at this point. Um, unless he, like, fusion subs, like, has, like, Raigeki and fusion subs on Michael's turn. But, but again, Michael won die roll, so it, it's really hard. Like, winning die roll is so good, because not only do you get to go first and, like, do all your shenanigans most of the time and set up your traps and all that, but games two and three, you can side, you side to go second, so now you add all those extra hand traps like Retaliating C and Flying C or uh, Ghost Ogres, whatever hand traps and Regakis on board wipes to go second, so you're going second is so much easier, so it's just, ugh. Oh, oh, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so he does the fusion sub combo, goes to Gusto, and at this point, like, <laughs> and he has insta fusion. Yeah, I, th I don't really know if Michael's playing two fusion subs or one. Um, I think he's playing one at the moment. He was playing two earlier, so he's gonna go. So, yeah, Barrage, Pop, Ram Ram, my god, <laughs> draw the nuts after this Ram Ram effect. You already know. Um, Man, I love Ram Ram in Zoo Draco. Uh, Zoo Draco. Yeah, just Zoo Draco. Like, it's actually freaking amazing. That and I, I like to play Bay of Baboon. Momo doesn't like it, but I love Bay of Baboon, and Bay of Baboon is Bay. So, but like, it's just it's nutty. Like, you can recover three plays, you can recover with Dragonic Diagram. Like, oh. So he goes. Brawlable effect to search. Raz decides to Ghost Ogre. Um. I probably would have Ghost Ogre the Barrage, to be honest. But even then, like, he's just in such a bad position. Like, Ghost Ogre's... Right now, it's such a subpar card. But after the ban list, like, I think it's a main three of. Because, like, not only does it hit Field Spell, but, like, Zoo is much weaker and much less able to, um... Like, play, you know? So, like... like Cause go you can have Ghost Ogre now and Ghost Ash and still uh, be able to because they might have Instant Fusion Barrage Terra Top yada yada yada. But now without Terra Tops and out Instant Fusion, they basically have their normal summon and they have Barrage. So if you can like Ghost Ash and Ghost Ogre them like Ghost Ash, their effect is special and Ghost Ogre or whatever their Barrage like you're in a pretty good position or like oh, sorry vice versa. But like and if that's if, of course if they don't start with Rat, but. It still, it, it helps out so much more. They don't get their Degusto draw and all that jazz. So anyways, this is game two. Michael won that, obviously. <laughs> he went first. Um, so Barrage is going, or... Raz does the Luna Light first. Adding Fusion Sub. And then goes Barrage, especially in Rat. Michael has no reaction. Um, I played Mike. Michael was my only loss today. He, he retaliating seed me. I, I assumed he had it, and I... I just got greedy. I Like, game three, like, in this format, like, it's not even a bad idea taking out um, the fusion sub, but, like, fusion sub is just too strong not. Like, if you get off, you just win, right? So, I don't know. It's it's give and take, but, like, with Flying Seas, Retaliating Seas, Drone Lockbird, all those cards and board wipes you have to go against, like, games three and two, it's like, ugh. So, he goes, uh, check a 9-9, effect to special, bravo, activate fusion sub, and... <laughs> Michael has retaliating C again. Hmm, Quinky Dink? Nah, Sack Master. That's what it is. Um, so, retaliating C, I think, is definitely the best card versus the Fusion Sub uh, play. Um, yeah, it's just... It is what it is. It banishes two. It banishes Fusion Sub, so they don't get to draw Fusion Sub. It banishes whatever material you discard to get it, and it searches you like Max or Flying C. And that, in the end of the day, is just nutty. Because it, it, it not only does it, like, 
it stops them from drawing. And, like, you can see Raz doesn't have three cards in his deck to even, like, or graveyard to even degust it, right? So it's like, ugh. <coughs> so it's, it's, it's whatever, you know? But, yeah, I definitely think it's best. But, like, after after Fusion Sub's gone, Retaliating C is not a card anymore. Um, you're just going to play, like, Flying Seas for the Mirror. Um, Flying Sea isn't good versus True Draco. Zoo and I feel that's going to be have a lot of to see. Also, Pendulums is, is not, it's going to, not going to be very good versus. Unless those are, like, the Pendulums that only, like, ooh, gets Maxi. Oh, he has to realize Fusion Sub goes to, yeah, Banish. Oh, I think I think he didn't banish his rat either. Maybe that's me missing that for a second, but I, it, like it's like a macro cosmos where everything just goes to the graveyard. So Michael's gonna max C here. Um, I don't know if that's the right play unless his hand is like absolute garbage at this point. Then I guess you could just to like stop a degusto, but it's just it's better to go into degusto. But I don't know. I don't know if that was. I don't think this is the legal play to be honest, because if he did, if I miss, I might have missed it. If he did Dryden pop retaliating, that rep here should have been in the in banished because it's banished before that pops, so eh, that could affect the game state. <laughs> and this is Raz's spicy tech X Y Z gift. Um, I personally don't like it. I personally think Paw Desires is a way better card because you don't need the restrictions of going second. Maybe he sides it just for going first. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so now he has a... Because now he has a bare Dryden, right? And sure, you drew two, but you are basically... You're losing your Dryden, unless you have a Whiptail, but then you're using Whiptail, so then you didn't even, like... You basically just did an upstart. Um, yeah. <laughs> Michael, Michael, uh, Kai uses rat just in case of the whip tail. And special summons Teratop. You just have to wonder versus the, with this Michael kid. Like, he has, like, perfect hands a lot of the time. This motherfucker. But, um, in, like, Teratop, Kaiju, and Maxi, or, and Retaliating C. My god. So he goes Invoker, special summon. A dude. Special summon Le Whip Tail. Okay. This is interesting. I don't know. I don't. I don't know his hand, obviously, but I would have special summoned Rat and then uh, maybe normal summon or activate Tanky and then get like a Thoroughblade and like go like that or something else. But whatever. We'll see where this goes. So he normal summons Rat, activates effect to send. To send Ram Ram. So he's going to do the. Uh, he's going to try and attempt to do the. Uh, the Gusto pop play if he needs to, but it also gets a dead card, quote unquote dead card of his deck, right? So he overlays those two for check a nine nine. And then he's going to activate effect to special rat, and then he's going to get ghost ogre. I don't know why he overlaid two though. Am I missing something here? I feel like I'm missing something here. Anyways, he special and then he goes into Leica again, because I guess he's ran out of materials. But he goes Leica effect, um, targeting Ram Ram. So he obviously has a way to pop it, I think. Um, yeah, so he does. He activates Barrage. And Barrage effect is to pop that. And it's like, oh. And he's going to get Ram Ram effect as well. And that's a really good play, because now he can go into another Degusto. And Degusto, like I said, it's super important in this matchup. Like, it's actually unbelievably important. Um, but yeah, so he, he special summons the whip tail off of it, and yeah, now it's just Degusto, put back three, draw one. He might be able to put back a rat, special a rat after, but we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, Michael looks in a commanding position, he puts back Maxi, because you know he's going to draw it. We all know he's going to draw it. It's freaking Michael. It's freaking Michael the Sackmaster. That's what we have him in our Goats Gaming Chat on Facebook. He's called the Sackmaster. Because this is what he does. He sacks. But Raz is just like pretty much out of options at this point. Like Michael's going to be able to deal with this really easily. So yeah, he goes Tiger Mortar Effect. Um, targeting... I think it's Rep here that he has to engrave it. I can't really see. If, we actually have to get a new angle, but yeah. Um, but anyway, so he's going to go Tiger Mortar effect to, I guess, add a whip tail. 
or a, or a, sorry, he's going to add a rep here, it's a special rep here, because I guess he put it back with the Augusto Emerald. I don't know if this is going to accomplish. I think he normal summoned already. Did he? I don't remember. This turn has been a wild one. Um, so Mark was just figuring out what to do. So he's going to go Borbo. And then I think Dryden just to give it an extra name. Oh. Brawl I guess he can Brawl search still. Damn this turn. <laughs> should not have ended the way it did. But. I, I, I was confused. I was. Uh, Y'all already know. Um, so I guess he searches whip tail. Then he's going to go into dragon. He's going to guess I pop pop one of them attack. Maybe crash the gustos, pop the other one and just get some damage in. You know. Um, but Michael's just thinking here. So he does go into the dragon over there. And maybe he gets Hammer Kong. Yeah, because he put Hammer Kong back with the gusto, right? So now he has he has the OP field of Hammer Kong de gusto, and. Let's see what he decides to do from here. So he's going to go Dryden effect to pop. The Degusta is the most important, but he could always crash Degusta if he felt the need to. But I guess he's not scared of the Gamma Seal because I guess he uh, he has a Whip Tail, right? So he could just pop it and end phase Hammer Kong effect. Just the cost to discard because that card is actually high key busted in the mirror. Like I said it before, I'll say it again. Like it's just absolutely nuts. Try it out. Like, see what happens when you you go first with a Hammer Kong dry and, and they have to start doing their plays. So, Raz decides to Twin Twister Barrage and the set card. And Barrage effect to equip you with a Dryadent uh, when it's destroyed. Um, so, Raz decides to normal Terra Top. And I think activate effect. Yep. Yeah. Hasn't used his crispy Spear Dot Terra Tops yet. So, he adds Takam Tongboard to hand. Honestly, just special talk at Tabor and just start attacking, right? That's probably the best thing to do. Um, Michael decides to hit Terra Top. It's safe to do it here, I guess, because he already uses normal summon and he has a Gamma Seal, so he can't special summon another Terra Top. And most likely he doesn't have another Terra Top because he just drew one, right? So definitely the right play because then he could have specialed his talk and Tomborg and attack and got rid of the hammer Kong and say the dryden but now he can only get rid of one depending on of course if he has barrage or not so he has instant fusion that's a good card <laughs> um i like the I, I bumped instant fusion up to two i took a zodiac combo just because i wanted dryden or uh more de gustos but like you have to hard draw them and i'm like maybe combo is better just to play like you run out of resources so fast in this deck it's absolutely nutty but um so Raz targets Whiptail, specials Whiptail with his Norden effect. And we'll see what he goes into here. He goes into Gagaga Ga Samurai. I guess he just wants to get rid of... Like, get if he, if he can get rid of the Invoker and the, the, the Degusto and attack with the Gamma Seal and get rid of, say, the Dryden or, or Dryden or Hammer Kong, like, that will definitely be huge. It might help him come back, but, like, again... <laughs> Michael will still have a zoo monster on field. And I don't know what he has fully in his extra deck and obviously what's in his hand and all that jazz, but and I also don't know if going Gaga -ga was correct. Probably just, you could have just gone cause he has a whip tail underneath, right? So he could have, he could have stacked it up. Got a brawl ball search, uh, pop one, but Hey, what do I know? I'm just a scrub who plays gadgets. <laughs> but anyways, so as as I don't know, as he's trying to figure out whatever to do. One thing with the zoo matchup, like zoo already takes long enough to do, and then there's some now with only two ram ram. There's like some complicated plays that you actually have to do, or like have to think through, and it's like this this mirror can take forever and go into time a lot. Thank God for Nats, like they they kind of lowered it a bit. I kind of wish Rat was at three. Because they did take out Norden and all that jazz. Because then you, it's, it even becomes a splashable engine again, again, you know? Or an easier splashable engine, but meh. So he does have Barrage as well. So that's why he went to Gaga. That is pretty good. Um, he could have even, what, what he could have done is attack and attack. And then he could have used Barrage on the, the Gamma Seal, you know? Because it's just a 22 beater. Could have used Barrage on the Gamma Seal. And have a brush for next turn. But he does go into Thoroughblade. I don't know if he's going to activate effect. He probably doesn't have a target. Probably was like one of the last cards in his deck. Because like, again, you run out of resources so fast. That's why it's 
It's not really good to play pause desires, but so he is going to go broad ball effect to search. It does look like he'll be able to clear the whole field of Michaels. Just because Gaga can attack twice, like Gaga attack over Invoker and Degusto, this Dryden attack over Hammer Kong, and you can pop the Dryden. And Raz kind of pulled through so far. He has a bunch of starter cards, which so definitely helped him with this turn. So he's going to pop the Hammer Kong. I guess attack and attack and attack and attack. But but watch watch. I'm just going to call it. <laughs> Michael's like, I don't give a fuck. I he probably has Kaiju Slumber, you know, because he's a sack, right? Um, okay, so... So he attacks with the Gamma Seal to the Dryden. Michael decides to activate Whiptail to banish the Gamma Seal. I don't know if that was really necessary, but... And then... Um, Raz decides to attack for 24 with double Whiptail. So... Again, we'll see. We'll see if... Michael has... I, I'm going to assume it's Kaiju Slumber and Raz doesn't have Ghost Ash, but who knows. Or a Raigeki. Like, oh, maybe not. Normal Summon Thoroughblade. No effect, it looks like. <laughs> At one point, I was I actually looked over. I was playing my... Uh, I was playing my... Set, set, like, what is that? Th th I was X1. I was, X I was like third and fourth place match after because my only loss was to Michael. I was playing right beside it. <laughs> I looked over and Raz had like a big gusto and like a totem bird or something as extra deck and michael had like two cards as extra deck but like god damn zoo just runs out so fast like ugh. anyways so he decides to go norden special summon ram ram if he just dry and pops this norden oh no he dry and popped the thoroughblade right so i guess michael's a sack with instant infusion instead this time I, 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 me, personally, I would have thought Kaiju Slumber because, you know, Michael's that way. But, again, it's like, sure. So he goes, check a 99 effect to special Dryden. So he's going to do the double Dryden play. This play is really good. Um, You should know it by now, or it's the bread and butter. It's like, if you have a Dryden in the graveyard, you just bring it back, check a 99, put a Tiger Mortar, put it underneath your Dryden, and have it make another Dryden. So it's the double Dryden play in one turn. Um, He tries to actually Bravo effect search. He literally has no zero cards left in this deck. This actually happened twice to me in the tournament. Like, gosh, you just... Ugh. Ugh. But, yeah. So, anyways. So, he goes Tiger Mortar effect to put a uh, a big-ass booty called Ram Ram under his Dryden. And then he's going to go Dryden effect to pop Dryden. Now, Michael, I don't think, has any of the cards left in hand. But he does have double Dryden, so... If Raz could get all right, Geki or something, just pop that and then maybe do a small combo, then congrats. But it's looking like his he has like no XYZs or has like no extra deck, so we'll just have to see. The double Dryden. So Raz activates effect of Gaga Ga Samurai. And he normal summons Taka Tong board. Now here I actually looked over and I was like, oh Raz Raz has this, right? Um, like, R Raz can get rid of one of the Dryants and keep his talking down board. Because he also has Forbidden Chalice in his hand. And, like, Michael kind of misplays here. He goes, like, Dryant Effect to pop the talking down board. But, obviously, he doesn't know. He doesn't know about the Chalice. So, Michael activates to pop the talking down board. <laughs> Raz Chalice is it. But if I was Raz, I would have let that through, right? You let that through and then you use your Gaga, -ga -ga, attack the other Dryant, attack the Dryant. Because Michael's going to have to pop with his Dryden. You chase the Dryden that targeted your Gaga Samurai. And you get rid of them both. And you still have a Gaga Samurai. So you're like, you just got rid of that field. But <coughs> Raz kind of misplayed. And Michael kind of misplayed. But Michael misplayed not knowing. And Raz just, I don't know. You probably just didn't think about it. So it's all Gucci though. Um, so <laughs> we'll see here. So Michael decides to, it's fine because or Dryden has the 2,000 booty and Gaga Samurai can't actually get over that. And the Chalice also would have made the Dryden like zero, right? So, it's all Gucci. Now, Michael has a one card in hand and <laughs> there it is. The Kaiju Slumber. So, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, Kaiju Beatdown at this point. Um, this has happened to me a couple of times today as well. Like, it was absolutely redonkulous. 
how many times I'm just like, attack with a 3300 attack kaiju. Attack with a 3300 kaiju, you know? Like, it's... Zooey, I know. What are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to get damage? <laughs> JK. But yeah, happened versus me and my other teammate Brandon in our game. I think it was game two. This kaiju beatdown was great. So, oh, Michael, attack with kaiju. Oh, the plays on Michael and I'm seeing. And, and Raz actually, he actually starts drawing into his, like, going first cards. And, like, he's drawing into his Garnets of Scythe. And stuff like that's what kind of costs him. So he sets one where it was like attack, and it's like, oh, it's Ram Ram. <laughs> but but Raz is actually out of extra deck cards, so he can't actually like do anything at this point. So he's just like, I don't know, he's like hoping for an out, which I don't. Oh, one of his outs would have been like Artifact Sanctum and then bring Moral Attack back right and get rid of the Kaiju. But so he brings back Theroblade, or he has to get like a level four and like make Digusto. And Michael's just deck thinning with Kaiju Slumber, remove it from Grave, add one. <laughs> Adds another 33 beater. Man, Kaiju's, Kaiju's are so strong. Like, I don't even understand, like, why they're that strong. God. <laughs> why Konami? Why? Could have made them, like, little twigs. Like, 1800, 1900 Kaijus would have been A okay, but 3300 after you Kaiju Slumber's like, ugh. Stronger than Blue Eyes, you know? Like, and Blue Eyes is game. Oh. Raz is like said another one. So it's all Gucci. So yeah, so Michael just decides to attack Thoroughblade. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, this is where Raz starts drawing into his sights and setting sights. So my Michael's like, oh attack, and now it's drawing luck and it's like, oh, he just has to get through this. And yeah, and then Raz draws another sight and sets it and basically Michael wins here. Um anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you want <laughs> Oh, sorry. Book of Moon 2. So he stalls another turn. But anyways, guys, Michael wins this game. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any comments hey, or comments on my casting or the gameplay or the soft cheating, Michael, please put them in the description down below. Um, like and subscribe <laughs> if you enjoy this video. Um, Michael's BMing with No Summer Flying C. And anyways, yeah. Um, anyways, guys, love y'all. Thanks for subscribing. Um, peace out.